Hey guys, this is Seema from Seema Builds, and today we're going to be reviewing the LEGO Star Wars set 7139 Ewok Attack. This set contains 119 pieces and appears in episode 6. The set was released in 2002. Let's take a look. Here we have our first minifigure. This is Paplu. He has a black bow and arrow, and his entire head there is beige. As you can see, unlike the new ones, which are multicolored. And the back of the minifigure. Both of the Ewoks have a completely brown body. Here is our second Ewok. This is Wicket, the most well-known Ewok, I think. And this entire minifigure is brown. The headpiece is completely brown, as well as the body and legs, just like Paplu. He isn't carrying anything, but he is still an iconic figure in Star Wars. Next we have the old Stormtrooper with the very old blaster. Um, this is the blaster that kind of looks like a microphone with an orange firing piece on the end of it. Very old helmet as well. And under there is the old completely yellow head. That's what they used on Stormtroopers back then. Finally we have the Scout Trooper. This is my favorite figure in the set. I really like his helmet and his torso looks nice too. Same pants as the Stormtrooper, however. No printing on the back of anything. And if you can look there, um, uh, there is little white lines on his face that are actually going through the helmet. If you look under the helmet, it is once again an old head. I think you can see the lines better now. But he basically has a yellow head with the black on his head just covering the part where you can see his face. And that is the final minifigure. Here we have the Ewok glider. This is intended to be for Wicket, which if you put his hands behind his body like this, he can actually just attach to these little black pieces here like that, and he can hang from it, just like shown in the movie. And um, this is on a ball joint here, so it can move anywhere you want it to. Uh, I really do like these wings here on the glider. They are made out of plastic and not just the cape material. I think that it is overall a better build this way. And one play feature that is often overlooked on this is the fact that there is a rock that can be dropped onto things by just leaning it back. Kind of stupid, I think, but it's to add for the kids. And they also give you an extra rock here. Um... So there really isn't too much with the glider. It just looks good on a shelf, I guess. Next up, we have the speeder bike. This is the one that was found on Endor. And it is a very basic model. I do like the new ones better. But this works for now. Gray backpack there on the back. Nice brown pieces throughout. And the nice sleigh pieces on the bottom. We have a little stand right here. Which can be moved. And you can stick a Scout Trooper on. He actually stands on this, unlike the new ones. So that's something different. I personally like it better. When they sit, I think it just looks better. It's movie accurate. So you just lean them forward and they can grab on to the handlebars. Um, like this. That. That's what he looks like on there and we have the little exhaust pipe over here on the right side of the speeder bike so I think that this is a good thing that was added to the set and last but not least you get a rock shooter which was shown in episode 6 on Endor shooting at ATSTs you do get an ATST on the Battle of Endor set which I will be reviewing later here on the channel but this one here it looks old just like the rest of the set because it is old but it kind of gives it that feeling of nostalgia for those of you long collecting Star Wars fans like myself and this does shoot a rock I will guess shoot it up against the wall just to show you Oop, that hit my thumb so it doesn't really shoot up it more kind of shoots straight and it also does give you an extra rock here and then the, there are these little spinny things here, which I don't really know why they're there, because they don't serve any purpose to the set. They just give it a cool look. And there are a couple of leaf pieces as well. 
and that's the catapult. So overall, I think this is a really good set. It resembles a great moment in Star Wars history in the Battle of Endor, and I think it illustrates it well for what it comes with and the age of the set. It already being, to this date, 14 years old, and this would be a set that if you are a true Ewok fan, true Star Wars fan, you would pick this up because there are only, as of right now, I believe only three or I think there's actually four sets that include Ewoks to this point. And I have them all because I'm a serious Ewok fan. I like them. I like them in the movie. I like them in Lego. So I collect all the sets that include them. So I thought that this was a really good set to pick up and it was definitely worth my time. You could probably get it on eBay for $40 or under now and I think that is worth every penny because of the old minifigures you get and just the play features that this set comes with. So that has been my review on the LEGO set 7139 Ewok Attack and I will catch you guys in the next LEGO Star Wars review. Bye bye.